Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, rockers, and welcome to your number, number one, one rugby podcast. Okay, guys, if you guys don't know me, I am none other than Rudy Pates, and next to me, I've got my partner in crime. You know what it is, Juan de Jong in the house, partner. Everything good, boy, all good, All good, can't complain. A bit sore, you know what it is. is a little it? bit sore, yeah. It's been a tough weekend, but enjoyable weekend. Okay, eh? and before mm. we get this stuck yes, into yes, the yes, weekend, yes. let me just quickly yes, mention boy, our boy. partners and people that make behind the rock possible. Mm. Okay, up there by Luan's. Uh, Juan's head, hey, not Luan, Luan okay. sorry. Up there by Juan's head is Lula Bet, our partner in crime, the people that make sure the lights stay on at Behind the Rock. Mm. And then obviously this episode has got a special sponsor uh, by none other than Prime. But my partner will elaborate Ooh. more on the sponsor. But we are thankful and grateful that you guys are on board for this episode and making sure that this episode is possible. Ooh. Pari, super excited to have them on board. Incredible company, um, Prime Cleaning uh, Suppliers. They've been awesome, especially um, supporting, you know, um, Prime um, Pumas at the Tens, yeah. which is crucial. Your Tens team you my played Tens for. Team, okay. yeah. yes, yes, crucial. yes. And they make it even possible to have a special guest, a guy down under, like Ooh. we spoke about last weekend, on the show, which is incredible. 120. 122 Super Rugby Kef for the Brumbies. Mm. 19 Australian S- Kefs S- S- for the Wallabies. <laughs> Come on, Google. Two tournaments for the Aussie Sevens. I don't want to even talk about the play to Waikato in uh. New Zealand. They played for Fiji under 19. Yes, yes, yes. Henry yes. Spade, thank you, Prime, Yo, thank for bringing you. him yes, to yes, us. Yes. But what an incredible family, you know. I mean, um, this is my first year actually with Prime. Yes. And, and, and it's just awesome to see what the guys have done. There's incredible work that went in, especially guys like, you know, Dean Greenfield. Um, that's been incredible getting the guys together. They've got a manager, um, Clive uh, Bredenkamp. That's also the coach as well that um, got the guys together. Lots of characters in that yes. team as well and some good players as well. Characters as well. We got also got the Bola Kondarari in the... In, in, what? In, yes. Yes, see. Morna Adams. Copy and paste. You... Bola, yeah. <laughs> Copy, Copy and paste. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so you brought some energy. We had some guys here. We got the twins from Paul, you know, the David's twins. I mean, incredible team. You know, Henry Spade as well. You know, awesome playing with him and not against him like always. Oh, you know, can yeah. imagine. Jonathan Franca. Hey. He was but I'm happy you look good. You got a smile on your face. I so got a smile on my face. You look like yeah. you had a fantastic mm. weekend at the tents. I did, I did, I did. My That's first experience nice. and it was awesome. I, unlucky we didn't pull it through in the final. We played the um, SA Rugby Legends in the final. Okay. Yes, so uh, it was our third final in a row, but it's just an awesome experience. And credit to SA Rugby Legends for a lack of show, you know, getting into the final and just putting up a show. And then, yeah, it was enjoyable and partner. Okay, yeah. and Rutgers, we will obviously mm. put primes, um, Prime Cleaning Solutions. Uh-huh. Cleaning, cleaning suppliers. Cleaning sur- suppliers. Yes, I apologize, okay. but we'll put the, the, the website. website down. Go mm. check out this stuff. Go check Obviously. it out, yeah. Prime CS. Okay, Prime yes. CS. There we go, yes, right. um, mm. Because what they're obviously doing is great. Yeah. And companies that back rugby and make rugby possible and bring people together. together yeah. We want to support those people. Yeah. And they bring Henry to us. Heroes are luck- oh. Rockers, we are lucky, okay? <laughs> we're not spite. We're not, uh, we're not spite. spite about this one. <laughs> yeah, super Wiki, excited, yeah. Give me the lineup, mm. quickly. Oh, lineup is pretty Hit simple. Me. What's on the uh, episode? Not a lot of news, okay? Uh-huh. We, we don't have a lot of news because there's lo- lots of rugby going on. But yeah, we just want to say, you know, shout out to Rasi. We've seen the pictures on Twitter. Rasi, all the best with the recovery. We need him. We need him a couple of months when it comes to July against Ireland. Just make sure you're up and running, okay? And and if you're not, I, I, I'm a coach now. Oh, 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 never okay. mind. Let, let's not go Seed there. Let's, boy, not go there. Let's, not go there. let's not go there. But all the best to Rasi. Yeah. Hopefully we can be up and running. Happy especially that when it comes okay. to July. We are happy yeah, yeah. that is okay, mm. coachy. And then, ooh, yes. we've been building this up for now for a couple of weeks now, especially last week. Yes. Henry Spade now. Okay. So all the way down under. Excellent. Hey, Bula Banaka, Fijian, all the way in. Speak to him. And it's going to be, I'm excited. I'm excited. Because, yeah. Um, yeah, he made me famous this weekend. Uh, uh, Look, long play short, oh. a couple of gaps. Which is it's because he's so big, so everybody's attention was at him and yes. not at you. But hey, I'm not here to, uh, I can move I'm not here bit, to yeah. chirp you, Wojki. So good to see you. Just to get feel about, you know, the Fijian days, the Australian days, how things with him as well. Uh, just check if he's retired, is he still playing? All those type of things. It's always good to catch up. Catch yeah, up with and our it's our teammates. first down under yes. guy from Australia. On yeah, the show. Mike. Good yeah, day, Mike. Good day, Ready. Mike. Yes. Okay, buggles. Yes. And then obviously we got the results of the Six Nations yes. and the fixtures coming up for, for, for the... Um, the weekend coming. Okay, and mm. partner, obviously, this is our episode 30, so I want to give you hey. a, a lekker, Yeniki van Dijk. Yes, yeah. 30, 30, 30 uh, zero. Zero. Uh, 170. Yes, okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Let's go. <laughs> so, yeah. um, I'm excited. Yeah, I'm super Are you excited ready? as well. Yeah. Mm. Are we going to get straight into it? Bring him on, eh? Let's okay. chitty chitty chat chat. Let's go, guys. Up next, Henry, Henry Spade. Spade. 
Hey partner, we going down under. Yes. <laughs> yes. Hey. Good day, mate. Good day, hey, mate. Good day. Welcome to behind the rock. Hey? <laughs> oh, boy, kids, boy, kids. It's uh, lekker to be here, man. Lekker to be yeah. here. Huh? You like that word, eh? Lekker chom. Uh. Lekker chom. <laughs> How are you doing? Are you good? <laughs> yeah. Oh, very good. Uh, obviously, mm. being back, being back in uh, South Africa. Uh, never thought, never thought I'd come back. Yeah. You know, uh, after Super Rugby and, and everything, yes, which is cool. which is a disappointment. Mm. Uh, but to be back and back in the Western Cape, ah, the place to be. Oh, uh, I love can't, it. Can't can't place yeah, 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 okay, yeah, 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 yeah. The Rainbow Nation. The Rainbow mm. Nation. Mm. Wait, um, Henry. Obviously, we are come to our show. I yeah. know you've watched mm. behind the rack. I, I yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Partner, first of all, I'm happy. Is. Our earphones fit. Oh yeah, yes. yeah. Look at it. There. But that's I the thought, that, that I is thought, the last bit of banter. Oops, uh, uh, okay, that's it. Okay. Last bit of banter for this episode. Okay. <laughs> I thought I had a problem, eh? But you got no. bigger problems, eh? Yeah. Huh? It's, it's, yeah. it's literally maxed out. I can't huh? stretch it out anymore. It's it's maxed out. Next time so, you come, we'll get bigger earphones. Uh, mm. Perfect. <laughs> and, and, and firstly, before mm. we start with everything, partner, I must say, Rakas, I am extremely happy that in this environment, when I see. <laughs> Henry with his afro. Yes. I am not afraid. <laughs> there's, there's no little heartbeat yeah. clicking in my heart anymore, sure. knowing that he's going to come around the corner. He's I need in the channel. And I'm going to mm. have to stop him. Mm. So no. this is a very comfortable <laughs> environment relax. for me. Ooh, sir. We can relax. Yes, yes, yes. Calm. 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 Calmness mm. and mm. tranquil. Tran- <laughs> as they say. I like it. In France. Yes. <laughs> okay, okay. Henry, um, firstly, tell the Rakas and South Africans, what are you doing in Cape Town? Why are you uh. here? <laughs> Well, uh, I'm very, I was very fortunate to, to be invited to, uh, by the Prime Pumas mm, for, um, for the Cape Town 10s. So, uh, yeah, uh, very, very grateful for that opportunity and, and to be able to come back to, to, to South Africa, to Cape Town. Um, like, like I said, I, I didn't think it was going to happen. You yeah, know? I always good, yeah. knew... Uh, David Takurin Rani and I, you know, mm. every every time we'd fly to to South Africa with uh, Brumbies, we'd always say like, you know, as Fijians growing up in the in the islands, a yeah. dot dot in the Pacific, mm-hmm. this is the only time when we come for rugby. This is the only time that we'll be visiting South Africa because once oh, it's yeah. done, it's it's, it's tough. We, we don't think you know you'll come back come here. Come back again. Mm. Uh, but so to be here. Last time I was here yeah, was three years ago. Three years uh, ago. And to be here without um, a stress of a professional environment. Yeah. <laughs> and just to be... Yeah, you know, now calm, can you calm. relax a bit? Oh, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, 35 yes. degrees. I mean, especially looking at the fantastic 10th tournament. You were playing with some good yeah. players, eh? Good, oh. uh, good, uh, hey, hey, it was, hey? Yeah, it was nice to team up with you. Yeah. It's always tough playing against him. But yes, now we I, team, I'd oh, say. That man. was... That was good. Tell me about the experience. <laughs> Obviously, um, like last week, um, Dwayne Vermeulen handed out the jerseys yeah, here. And yeah, that yeah. was a good experience. And how was the tournament overall? Yeah, it was good, man. It was uh, like, obviously, it's, it's massive. Mm. Uh, I think I didn't realize how big it was. Um, and know, knowing the history of it with uh, Robbie Fleck and yes, uh, Bobby, Bobby Skinstead, yeah. legends. Yes, yes, uh, yes. Yeah, and to be a part of it was, was amazing. Mm. At the, the big stadium... <laughs> Yeah. Um, yeah, I've only been, I've only played in Newlands, so yeah, missed out on playing in the in the new one. DHL but uh, it, yeah, all in all, it was an amazing, amazing atmosphere. We were just staying in Greenpoint there, mm. so um, perfect. Yeah. There, stadium, Giovanni's for coffee. Back to the back hotel. So <laughs> the triangle, a, the full triangle. triangle. <laughs> <laughs> Ian, uh, and, and obviously. <laughs> Firstly, I want to I want be quick. Like, get into my question. Mm. I want to ask you <laughs> favorite things when you used to tour with Super uh, yeah. Rugby, and what was the especially the Fijian boys? What was your favorite parts about touring South Africa? Was it the uh, food, the culture, Cape Town, the hotel rooms, the the room service? Mm. What was your favorite part? Oh man, the Rovos, the Biltong, <laughs> Biltong. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, Biltong. You can't go wrong there. Mm. Um, yeah, just uh, with. Uh, like I said, with Tevita and I, mostly, you know, we played over a hundred games of Super Rugby together. And being, grow, like, being Fijians, growing up mm, in the yeah, islands, yeah. we never thought, you know, we'd be traveling the world uh, through rugby. Uh, and then to be in South, I think this, I think this trip is 
probably maybe 20, I was trying to count, uh, I think it's around 25 times or something. Yeah, yeah. To 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 come to, to, to South Africa. Yes. Yeah. Sure. So, yeah, and just, just, just being in, in South Africa is, mm. you know, such a great thing. Um, touring, whether it's Table Mountain, Robin Island, I found really interesting. Mm, okay. um, uh, Joburg, even Port Elizabeth was nice, you know, mm. like uh, a bit, just a bit smaller. Yeah. Just, yeah, I have, I have such a connection to South Africa that I think it's the, my favorite place to come to. To go to, in, to yeah. enjoy, yeah. So you would say Cape Town, Durban, not Pretoria. You don't like Pretoria. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> no, I'm in Cape Town, okay. <laughs> yes, I am. Why are you taking me? Okay. <laughs> yes. He likes yeah. the coastal vibes. Coastal so he, vibes. You know, he's, he's enjoying fair it. Enough, fair yeah. enough, fair enough. And Henry, currently, are you retired from professional mm. rugby? Oh, it's it's a tough question. Uh, I think yeah, I haven't semi retired. Semi retired. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's, that's also thing these days. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So you could uh, this season I'll be this year I'll be playing uh, club rugby in, in Brisbane. Uh, oh yeah. Which is which is nice just to come and wind down and uh, have memories with my son who's yeah. four, four and a half years old. Okay. And under correction, the 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 the, the club. Um, Rugby in Australia is that semi-pro or not? No, um, it's not not semi-pro at all. Like okay. you, you, there's no payment in there whatsoever. Uh, I, I must I must admit, like um, we were quite naive, you know, um, mm. just because we didn't have like I, I played ITM Cup in New Zealand. You guys yeah. had Curry Cup here, mm. um, and. Can, the Brisbane and Sydney comps is a lot bigger than Canberra Club Rugby, you know, where, where I, I spend most of my time in Australia. And just doing pre-season with, um, I've just done one week with them, with the uh, West's Bulldogs in, in Brisbane. Yeah. Pre-season, not paid. They started in Jan, and they're doing Tuesday, th- uh, Monday, Tuesday, Thursdays. Mm. And every, every second Saturday morning, um, yeah, you, 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 as a former, you know, like professional, yeah. you, you have to admire the the drive and the, the dedication, dedication mm. for not being paid to do a full so, days of work. Mm. You know, some people are working in the office, some are doing landscaping, yeah, and then come in doing gym at four thirty into a field at six, three yes, days a week. So no personal life is a yeah. straight, straight full house. You so it's yeah, I have so much appreciation for that now, mm. having you know like. Being so naive, just being a professional and if thinking. If in that bubble. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a dream. Yeah, yes. Mm, 100%. Yeah. And I want to, pardon before we move on to the rackers, you hear how Henry Spade is talking about South Africa. Let's appreciate our yes, country, yeah. okay? Yeah. Let's, I like to complain about this we and that and too much. and Eskom and this and. Henry obviously hasn't uh, enjoyed load sharing, but yeah, we're not yeah, going to yeah, talk yeah, about that. Yeah, we're not going to go in there, man. Don't go too deep, eh? <laughs> and, and, and I, must, I must admit, I, I experienced it last night. I just. Mm? Because I was, I couldn't sleep, so always, obviously having jet lag, jet lag, twenty-seven hours yes. straight to having a the captain's uh, run and and yeah, the well, games this and is stuff and all this. Having done that, my first night, I experienced that, and, and it was watching, and then it just everything just went dark. The, I was the, like, what the, the? That's the sound. <laughs> the sound is, <laughs> yeah. And then <laughs> after half an hour or something, then everything just comes back on. Like, mm. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, right. South Africa, we, we, they like to keep us on our toes. Eh? Perfect. It's yeah, we should never go in a comfort zone. Exactly. Okay, that's very important to us. Yeah, that's <laughs> a, it's a good learning to take back, you know, just mm. be on your toes and don't be, don't be too comfortable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it, Cynthia. <laughs> and Henry, for you as well, obviously, you were born in Fiji. Yeah. Suva. Suva. Hmm? Suva baby. Huh? Suva you remember baby. those caps of <laughs> next to <laughs> <her body? laughs> And fucking all this. Yeah. Things. Born in uh, Fiji. Then you went to Australia, was it? No, I was... Uh, I was lucky enough to, to go to New Zealand. Okay. I went, yeah. on, went on a partial scholarship uh, to Hamilton Boys and then uh, one year and then played and got signed to Waikato Rugby Union, semi uh, ITM Cup. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm. So, yeah, got signed by Warren Gatlin, actually. Mm, nice. <laughs> so he, he sort of gave me my first ever contract. Experience uh, and opportunity. Yeah. Yeah. And what so age was what age were you at when you left Fiji? 
uh, how old were you? I was like 18, 18, 18 19, okay. yeah. And a couple of years in New Zealand and then yeah. you went to Australia. Yeah. Differences for you, which one? Um, obviously, New Zealand is a rugby mad country and Australia is very yeah. relaxed. They've got oof, Brisbane and Coogee Beach and Sydney. It's <laughs> fantastic. But differences for you in terms of culture, differences in what you experienced? Um, I think uh, there's yeah, a little bit of uh, differences. In rugby, rugby sense, obviously, there's when you, like at, at that time, you know, when we were all yeah, starting yeah. off, the three of us, when you got to a super rugby team in New Zealand, you knew you had cracked it. You have you've worked yeah. your way to uh, to there, you know, like because there's a super rugby team has a franchise. Yes. It's a franchise and it's it's got a region. So I was in Hamilton, which was Chiefs region. Chiefs region. Mm-hmm. So you're competing with it is Waikato, Bay of Plenty, um, Counties Manukau, and I think now it's Taranaki. Yes. So if First, you were playing club rugby in Hamilton to try and make the Waikato team. Oh, okay. And then you're playing your Aketo, uh, Waikato. You're trying to start there because then the only way to play for, get noticed for Chiefs is to play well for ITM Cup, like Curry mm, Cup. Yes. And then you're competing against four other teams. So when you went into that 30-member squad, you knew... You know, you, Mama, you, I made it. You've, <laughs> yeah, you've earned it. You know, yeah, like, you've earned it, yeah. Went Start off the from the bottom, here. you know? And now we're yes, here. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> but then, uh, like, in, when I went to the Brumbies, obviously, yeah. there was... My first year there, there was... We named the team on um, Thursday. Or, yeah, Thursday. And then Thursday afternoon, boys... All the boys weren't playing. They were driving back up to Sydney to play club, mm. club rugby that weekend. You know, there, there was a massive gap there where... And I think that's... The biggest difference was the, the depth, you know? Yeah, like, yeah. And obviously... As, as you guys know, there's guys who, like, they can debut in Super Rugby at 17, 18, 19. Yeah. Just because, you know, they, they could kill it at school, get signed straight to Super Rugby, and, and there's no, no, no like, proper channels there. For them, to, a to feeder get to. system. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. So feeder that, feeder is, that is a big one that mm. I noticed. And I, yeah. Yeah, and taking it back to Fiji. Okay, yes. when now have been back, been back to Fiji? Family and all your bigger family still there? Yeah. Yo, we love Fiji, eh? Yes. Oh, yeah. hey, Fiji. I would love to oh, take my wife yeah, to yeah. Fiji. Yeah, hey, all our teammates, oof, we got love. Yeah. We must go somewhere. Hmm? Okay, okay. 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 Imagine, <laughs> imagine behind the rock in Fiji. Yeah, just yeah. Yes. Oh, uh, Bula Banaka. Bula Banaka. Yeah, Bula. What does that Bula Banaka mean? Huh? Hello. <laughs> bula. Bula. Yes, Bula. Bula, Fiji. Bula Banaka. Behind the rock is coming. Yes, yes. Bula. Okay. Yeah, and then Kava from tonight. Okay, yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, Fiji's home, you know. Yeah, it's home, yeah. And I mean, there's so much rugby players that, that goes to yes. other countries to, yeah. go to see. The, I don't want to say, like, <clears throat> the opportunities is probably more in Australia and New Zealand because it's so close by. I mean, yeah. you could get names like, I've got a good mate that was playing with me. It was um, Gabby Lovobalavu, yeah. very good mate of mine. Nathan News was there as well. I've hanged out with a couple of boys, Text of Abati, Nairo yeah. Bodo. Yo, but I must say, Fijian culture, the way you guys, I don't, wanna, I don't know what the culture and stuff is, but the discipline and just the, the friendliness you guys yeah. share throughout, you know, share through the rugby world has yeah. obviously been fantastic. Is it, is it the culture? Is it the, the respect for the older people? Is it just... Yeah, Fijian? I think it's a, it's a bit of all of that. Mm. Um, and most of it is because uh, a lot of us are still very grounded to, to our... Yeah. Our villages. Mm. So, like, if you're not in town every holiday or something, you'll be going to your village, and that's rural, you know. Like, mm. um, whether that's your mom's village or your dad's village, like, you can go, and a lot of things is still all very communal living. You know, mm. you walk around. You you can walk to the plantation or something in the morning before breakfast to go do your weeding and stuff, and as you're walking back from the when you enter your village to wherever your house is, each house that you'll pass, they'll be like, hey, yes, welcome come, and come mm. have breakfast, you know? Wow. Or even if they don't have anything to offer, they'll be like, my dengu, which is come have a rest, yes. have a glass of water. And, and that's, that's just normal, you know? And mm. Even when you move out to the, to like the towns and, and stuff like that, it's, it's normal. Yeah? Like you, yeah. you, you look out for each other and, and it's still... Especially when we move away, rugby is our biggest thing, mm. second to religion. And we, 
whoever we hang out with, whether it's Fijians or as you've both experienced, foreigners, if you're part of that yes. friendship, then you're part mm. of that community, that, brotherhood, that, yeah. circle, that family circle, you know, because mm. then that's how, yeah. like in France, a, a, a lot of the French men and I first got there and, and obviously you both know almost every team in France has a Fijian. Yes. Mm. Mm. When you're going to, so when we come to Van, for example, and there's a Fijian there, whether you know him or not, he's hosting. He's they'll, part of you. They'll send he's you a message. Mm, connected. Uh, are you guys here? Yeah, mm. We'll bring you home dinner, cover the night before a game. Hey, and, uh, hello, Kava. Yeah. I've seen the gatherings with Kava. Yeah. And Arakas, we lots of episodes. We said Kava, Kava, Kava. <laughs> Henry, please explain to them what is it, how does it work? You know, <laughs> what do you throw in it? Is it water? Is it what it is? And the gathering overall, because obviously yeah. you need, always need that scene that takes. In front, taki taki. Taki, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I've got that experience. A couple yeah. of caps. I got okay. a couple of caps. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Explain to us the gathering, the, the get together, and what do they use? And yeah. when it Ka- comes to kava. Well, kava is is a is like a it's a traditional drink. Mm. For us, it's a traditional drink, and for most Pacific Islanders, it's something that connects us. And we are, um, it is a root of a plant, mm. and we pound it into powder, and we just put it into a, a cloth. Like a bag. Yeah. Uh, how I explain it? It's just like a big tea bag, you know. Mm. You put yes. powder in the tea bag, powder and you just add water. And then you, then you, and then you just mix it. Mix it. Yeah. Uh, the mm. more you mix it, the stronger it gets. Yeah, you don't want and, too strong. Um, and you got your sweets there as well. Yeah, so it's just chaser. Because your lip can sometimes goes numb. Yeah, yeah. My first experience is on my lip. Numb. It's 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 almost the opposite to alcohol. Like you you can start with music blasting and everything, and by the end of the night. The music's gone, the guitar's out, and it's just yeah, slow jams, yeah, yeah. and it's a chill mm, vibe. Mm. But um, it's a lot of places in the world now are using it pharmaceutically. Like, oh, wow. Oh, okay. in, um, it's been proven to be a muscle relaxant, mm. antidepressants, um, like the sleeping stuff, you know? Like yes. In, um, in the United States, the, in the American, some of the places, that it's in pharmacies now. To, oh, it's wow. actually... Mm. So f- for us, it's I and mean, I think it, it explains the the chill vibe because everyone gets more relaxed and uh, yeah, you have a very good sleep after mm, that. You. And 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 on the Fijian thing, mm. I want to ask. I've never met a small Fijian, Henry. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I've never had the privilege, Rakas, of meeting a small Fijian with small calves and with s- nothing. Yeah. yeah. Mess- what what do you eat? Is it the kava or is is there some sort of bean tree that is growing there in, in, oh. in Fiji? Why are you guys so big and athletic and naturally gifted? Yeah. What what is in the water of Fiji? Oh, oh I think um, to be honest, I, I actually don't know. Eh? Like yeah, uh, I, will, I think our physique is similar to you know similar to people here. It's, yeah. it's just just in the best. DNA best student for rugby mm. and then you throw in a professional program you throw in weights yeah and yeah, you get specimens like a two sova who's sure. 112 kg you know 14 Fast. kg running 10 meters per second you know which mm. is what's that 35 36 k's an hour yeah and explosive as they come uh, oh, Henry Spade at 25 years old scoring the winning <laughs> yeah. try at Loftus Aye. in a semi final, yeah. breaking every bull's heart. Uh, I'm sorry. It's uh, nothing new. <laughs> no, no. Loftus, we, just, we just take our W's. When we get to Loftus, we take our W's. <laughs> sorry. And we leave. Okay. Sorry, yeah. sorry, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I think, uh, and, mm. and like, there's so many, so many people, like boys in the islands that, you know, they fall through after high school. Mm. And they fall through. We are like in Fiji now. The, the system is there, a bit more of a pathway to under 20s. The Fijian uh, Super Rugby team now, which is yes. an absolute blessing. Yeah. Oh, like you see the the rewards of that at the World mm. Cup. Yeah? Um, but before, like I explained to people, when I was 16, fifth form, well, from under 14 to under 16 in high school, I was the the closest. Where I could be on the rugby field was being a water boy. Mm. What? I was not. I wasn't. I wasn't. I was. I wasn't that good to be in the team. Mm. And the only involvement I could have to be on a rugby field was, boy. was to be a water boy. Mm. Uh, under sixteen. Yeah. Yes. Sixteen. Fifth form. And, okay. Uh, and I- like 
for some chance reason, I filled in this form for Hamilton because one of my mates decided not to fill it in and it was on the, the classroom floor. And no way. It's, I filled it in just because we have study prep, we call it, from 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. Yeah. Uh, nine o'clock and you're sitting there doing nothing. There's paper on the floor, so you just fill in the time yeah. by filling it in and um, by God's blessings, it, sure. uh, the rest is history. But my point is like there's so many other guys, you know, yeah. to, to go through my first three years in high school and be water boy. You can sort of understand the, the caliber of... Of players, of players and athletes that, that are there, that, that yeah. are not being yeah. spotted. Oh, get yeah. an opportunity. Uh, yes, that's yeah. a crazy story. That's a partner. crazy story, uh, yeah. yeah. Now it's now about it's one moment, <laughs> one opportunity. You think, ah, it's just paper, let's fill it in. Let's see. Now yeah. sitting, uh, mm. 19 Australian caps, 122 Brumby Super Rugby goals. Yeah. <laughs> in the sevens and uh, for the Reds. And, and you picked uh, up the paper on the floor. Yes, Ira, because uh? we, we <laughs> sorted you guys out. Believe, believe, yeah. believe. Well, it, it can incredible. happen to anyone, you know, it's like... Things can happen in, uh, yeah, it can happen to anyone, I mm. guess. That's, that's nuts. Yeah. And then now Henry went from Waikato over to the Brumbies. Yeah. You know? He was, he was part of the most <laughs> successful Ooh, um, the of South mm. Africa, or not South African, Australian Super Rugby franchise. Mm. And the era where Australian rugby was really good. In a great what was space. It? Yeah. A great space. Yeah. What was it like being part of that era where Australian rugby was actually thriving? Man, like, uh, before I touch on that, I think um, there's, a, there's a person, a, gr a great player, but also like a great man who's overcome uh, hurdles, you know, and he's, and he's a, 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 a brother of mine, uh, Christian Elefano. Yeah. The reason, like, I give him credit, you know, like, he came across in 2010 to play ITM Cup because mm. he, the second half of Super Rugby, he got injured. Mm. So there's no Curry Cup or, you know, or ITM. Yeah, they don't have there's a... only club level. So they sent him to New Zealand to get game time in ITM Cup leading into 2011. On the bye week, he comes back. But after every training in Hamilton, we will always hang out together mm. um, and ask each other. Oh, uh, two Fijians, Jack Lamb himself and me, Oh, has anyone signed you? The Fijian. He's like, oh, no, I'm going to play for Fiji and I'm going to France. The loose forward. And then, Save, Tokula, you? Oh, New Zealand Sevens. My chiefs have signed me, Jack Lamb, Hurricanes. And then I wasn't signed by anyone. And he is always just joking, you know, like, just come to Canberra, man. You know, it's as cold as Hamilton. Same thing. Yeah. yeah. I was like, yeah. Put in a good word and like, <laughs> oh, no, nah, I won't, you know. It won't happen. Yeah. <laughs> but then when I, when I signed for Brumbies, my first one-on-one -on -one with the coach, the coach I, after the meeting is like, hey, uh, when you get a chance, just go buy Christian a, a coffee or get him a beer. Oh. Uh, when he came back for one-on-ones, after our feedback meeting, he actually put forward your name. And then when he came back, we were watching him and seeing the Fijian on the wing. And that's how we got opportunity. the opportunity to sign you. Jeez, yes. what and, a guy, what a and like, so you know, the measure of the guy doesn't tell me. I, I never knew. I just thought, you know, like the Brumbies saw me and yes. wanted me. Mm. But if he hadn't said that, like, I don't know. I don't know, like, whether I, I would have become a, those numbers that you just said out. Like a, a, numbers. A, a super rugby centurion or, yes. you know. Um, mm. But... Yeah, to have come across my first year, I uh, had some greats like Matt Gitto, Ashley Cooper, um, Stephen Moore, Rocky Elson, David Pocock, yes. uh, Pocock, those guys, you know, uh, Stephen Hawes, Mark Chisholm, Mark Chisholm, what well, a man. Uh, and then obviously 2011, Australia, you know, Reds won it. 2014, Waratahs won it. So in that first five years, it was like, as you said, a very good era, you know? Yes. Going into the World Cup, even though we had a change of coach uh, to make the final, was, uh, uh, even if you were not playing, you felt you contributed mm. in a way. Man, in, yeah, to, to have someone put in a word for me. Like that, yeah. To start my career in Australia, and then 
just show the character of the man. I, yeah. I mean, especially when you look at Israel Falau, <laughs> his career as well, what he achieved as well, and, and what he went through, especially in Australia, what just... Yeah. Just standing for something and not fall for anything. I mean, yeah. you guys had a good relationship. What was your feel about what happened to him in Australia? The, 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 you know, the doors that closed on him um, just for standing up and, and believing in something? Yeah, like, like he was on, you know, like, um, apart from all the, like the politics and the religion stuff, mm. um, that's all, you know, like that's all happened in his, his own man now with his mm. beautiful family. What I can say as a person, as a friend, like he was probably on the biggest contract when I came across yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. But he was probably the most down to earth person you mm. could meet, you know, like he'd be walking around just fee flops or flappies or, or mm, you know, yeah. flappies. Pluckies. 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 Yeah, pluckies. Pluckies. There we go. Um if someone put in a group on tour, you know, like mm. or going down for coffee uh, and anyone can meet in the lobby as you, you know, as we know, like yes. meet in the lobby for in the next 15 minutes. Me and TV will come down, it'll just be the two of us, and he'll be sitting there just waiting, you know, just on his phone, just go for a walk, go for a coffee. We'll be just chatting. He goes to the toilet, and then when we have finished, but go to pay, he's already sorted it, you know. Oh, like, wow. And without saying anything, like, um, there's Obviously, you know, all the all the chat and everything, but I can speak from my relationship with him as a mm. as a player, as a brother. He was that kind of man, you know? person. Yeah. Um, and I, and I'm sure, like even those who were against him, uh, who played with him, against what you know what he did, Oof. they they can attest to him being a a great what person, left. great person in in a bloody. World class rugby player. Sure. And he was, he was an yes, athlete, eh? Yeah. I remember the day at Newlands, man. I don't get sta- uh, scared for when, when I see players, <laughs> but he came there and, <laughs> and he's huge. He's got this Quadzilla. I don't know what. And I'm, what I'm, I'm standing uh, about to run it at Newlands and I'm like, you? Just checking. He's probably this. like the most like freakish athletically yeah. like, player I've played with because, man, you should see that guy in the gym. like Strong. No, he Explosive. does. He, he does. He, like he'd be lucky to be benching ninety or something. Mm. You know? Like he'll go on the trapper. He won't do squats or anything. He just does trapper, little trap trapper jumps. I like and, him. And yeah. I like him even more. And so he just My goes to one guy. group. <laughs> like you know, look, looks busy. Do, doesn't do yeah, much. Yeah, you know? yeah. My type of guy, Rakers. Yeah. He just he goes to one group. Does one one rep or like a few reps for this exercise. Mm. And then just flows to another group. Um, Smart. You know Sareli Nankalavuki? Oh, yes. Yeah, it was, it was the, when we, he was at the storm, it was the same thing. Is it? They don't put him in the gym <laughs> because he's so big. He was like yeah, 135 yeah. and he's massive and stuff. Only treadmill. Treadmill, cardio, yeah. you know, sweat it out. He never yeah. used to jump. But I, I want you to take from that story the part where Falau pays the bill in for, uh, yes, so take yes, that okay. part, not the other part. And take so it with the we next go, time. Whenever we go for Starbucks, for a meal, and, and, do it. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> but there's other other like other people, you know, um, that stood for things. Uh, David Pocock, you know, yeah, yes. Um, he stood for like great person, you know. Again, a very humble, humble guy. Mm. Very big on conserving the future, like conserving our resources, like mm. climate change for our future generations. And he he was he's so convicted on that. Mm. He stood by it. He was a yeah. Chained himself to. A big machine, you know, that uh, like with some protesters who uh, to stop mining or, mm. or something like that. Um, but he chained himself to one of these big, big machines. Oh yes, he, I like, didn't know that. You know, like um, so dedicated to their purpose, their, their calling that they, you know, they're, they're convicted in that. Yeah, they, they can stand for that. Mm. And yeah, like people like that. Uh, you respect, yeah, respect, you know, yeah. 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 Whether, whether you get yes. something, don't fall for anything. I like but because, yeah. yeah, in, in, in both of them, in their own ways, they, they got a lot of flack, flack, yeah, mm. the, you know, people talking cuck about them. And mm. Oh, lecker. Like, lecker. lecker. I like that. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. He's learning, he's learning, he's learning. <laughs> yeah, and with David Pocock, I remember that one year in 2008, especially when we go overseas to play in Australia, in Canberra, he would like, 
just text or phone, like at the time it was Luke Watson, he would phone him and say, yeah. listen here, brothers, I know you're new here, you want to go to church, or you don't want to have a Bible study class and st- stuff like that. Just shows the character of the man and just him, you know, yeah. being involved in other people, it's massive respect for him, yeah. Like, you, like him and um, his, his wife, Emma, mm. like most beautiful human beings, you know, and um, they, they wouldn't get married until their their gay friends could be legally married in Australia, oh, wow. and and you know things like that. They, um, as I said, like they were free to to stand up for what they mm, believe, believe in. in. Yeah, and they like it's two sides of a coin with him and follow. Like just two examples, but yeah, uh, you you must admire the way they yeah. they stood for their what they believed in and their mm. convictions, and mm. and yeah, and they. They only got married when they were the, their friends their were friends allowed could, to as yeah. well. Um, Henry, unfortunately, I've got to come to some tough questions as <laughs> always at the end. Yeah, I can't, yeah, can't just yes. fun. No, no, huh? I, it's, it's part of my no job now. Okay, no it's, okay. it's, 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 a, it's a halfback thing. Eh? Huh? You know, like, <laughs> they they like can be, they, like they can be party poopers. They can be, you know, yes. drivers, and then chirping, and, and then can also have talk some. Yeah, now we got to talk some sense. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> And unfortunately, Australian rugby in mm. the past, when did Eddie take over? Mm. <laughs> a couple of years ago, yeah, yeah. No, Eddie was only there for six months. Okay, okay, okay. In the okay. past, yeah, past 12 months. 12 mm. months. Yeah. Um, has obviously gone through some turmoil and, and obviously not a lot of positive. Um, as an ex-Wallaby and a proud Wallaby, yeah. what, what do you think about the time, obviously, when Eddie stepped in and how he's left everything, uh, Australian right. rugby, and what state he left yeah. it in? Yeah, I think it's. Um, I think it's. It's easier to talk from the outside in. You know, you you don't understand. Uh, as we all know, like you, you don't understand what the, what the players are going through. What the, um, but I, I did feel sorry for a lot of, the, well, for Australian rugby. You know, mm. I was in, and, being in France at that time, when all all of this unfolded, and seeing how, passionate and how. The game was in France, mm. and it was just black and white. You know, um, everything, every stadium in France was being packed out. Whether it was Pro D two or Top fourteen, the Six Nations games, everything, everything was going for rugby in in other well, all over the world, all over the world, 100%. except except Australia, and we were going the other way. Mm. And yeah, a lot of talk about Dave Rennie and him being shafted. Um, from what I know, he was a, a top man who had a very good culture within the team. You know, like um, to a point where he acknowledged the different cultures, especially the yeah. the big Pacific Island representation. Mm. So they would get the Fijian boys teaching the team a Fijian song, oh, wow. or the Tongan boys teaching the boys a Tongan song, and the Samoans likewise. You know, and I'm sure it would have been the same for some of the uh, yeah. other other non-Aussie, you know, uh, things. But even just having that before team dinner, someone he bring and he's the one on the guitar, you know. Mm. Get him together, yeah. yeah. Mm. And uh, being a New Zealand thing, that's uh, he just gets on it. The words on the and I think it was in his uh, reign that they sang the national anthem in the indigenous yes. language for the first time. And mm. and that was a big part of it. So he had a very good culture going and I think it was a, for them to let him go and bring Eddie in. And, and just, yeah, I think I just felt sorry for, for the players during the World Cup, you know, yeah, the, the amount time. of thing that, things that they cop. Mm. Uh, those who, I kind of knew when I signed to the Reds in 2020, Carter Gordon, Carter Gordon was, was there and top, you know, like a top, top guy, very mm. good, uh, always eager to learn. Him copping flack for being chosen as the only 10 yeah. to go to the World Cup, you know, you can't blame him. He's That's out of his hands. Yeah. Out of his he hands. He got, yeah, he wants to play. He got picked. Praises on him And now. he has, um, and the failure of the team like, was... They Mark just said it was him or mm. other players. But 
Yeah. Um, it's a massive responsibility in a young shoulders like that. Yeah. If you look at guys he, he, he left out, like, you know, your Coy Coopers, yeah. James O'Connors, those guys that can just, they don't have to play, but guys just can help them, yeah. you know, the next generations going forward. And talking about the next generation being forward, do you think with Joe Schmidt's appointment now, there's, the future looks good, especially for the next two years. They got the British and Irish Lions in 2025, yeah. and then the World Cup in Australia. Yeah. What form do you think? I think it's it's well it's they they say it's the the golden decade for for Australian rugby. You know you mm. got uh, obviously the World Cups just finished. Lions in twenty five, men's World Cup uh, twenty seven, women's World Cup in twenty nine. Yeah. Oh wow. Uh, so, but we've already been we're three three years behind behind the back. You know behind mm. the 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 black ball. So. Um, but with Joe Schmidt, obviously with his credentials, yeah, he's, yeah. he looks like he's uh, a very good operator. Uh, his yeah, he, his uh, record speaks for itself, and I think um, I can only hope you know it's it's going to turn mm. turn things around. Um, other coaches of the other franchises, hopefully the they'll all be, you know, aligned and be, be on board with what he's going to try and do. And, so. and the, 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 the public in, in Australia, are they still passionate about rugby union especially? Um, even though South Africa went through a similar uh, period where we struggled and we didn't get results and, and yeah. it was kind of an impatient time in South Africa. So we, we kind of know what, what Australia is going through, obviously. Is the public still behind? Are they still excited for rugby? I think so. Well, I'd like to. Uh, I hope so, and I'd like to think so. Having just gone back to Australia, um, I can only speak by you know, going to a club uh, two weeks ago, and starting in January, eighth of Jan, and you still had a good turnout for the first day, you know, mm. uh, of club training, eighth of Jan. Um, so on the grassroots side, you know, it's it's growing. It's it's good, but. I, I hope, uh, I think everyone's uh, still supporting, uh, but they, they really want to see things turn around because the competition with rugby league and other sports is yeah. one of the best players at the World Cup has signed for rugby league next year. Yeah, I yes. saw so, Wakasin. Um, Quickly uh, pronounce his surname. Huh? I want to hear you pronounce his surname. What's his surname again, eh? Is, uh, Akatawashi. Mark Naogentawashi, yeah. yeah. There we go. Akatawashi. Yeah? Okay. I'll say it like that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and, and that's what the boys are battling, you know, like the, the uh, organization is battling for, in, in Australia. Like, he's given up. Fighting, yeah. He's signed for two years beginning next year. So he's given up a Lions opportunity. Mm. And as we know, that comes around once in 12 years. Yes. Um, but, like, every, uh, there's a lot of changes now. The staff, the men, the yes, people yes. in power. Mm. So hopefully it's going to turn things And rugby is not the, is it the biggest of, of sport when it comes to the football? Or is, the, is AFL in league a little bit higher, yeah. ranked up? Uh, How do you guys lot, fit a in? Lot a lot higher. Yeah. So they they treat AFL league rugby yeah. players more like the celebrities than the, the union guys? Yeah. Even, soccer, mm, uh, even soccer. And if you throw cricket in there, like it's, it's uh, things have, have to really change, you know. Uh, a lot of outside of the box thinking. Innovativeness, think, yeah. yeah. Mm. Like, uh, mind, minds of a nine, you know? Yeah. Hey. Mm. Webby. Is, Chep, is, Chep, is, Chep, is, is Webby still at, at, at Rugby Australia? Uh, I'm not too sure, to okay. be honest. Mm. If Webby, if you're still involved, you know, you have my number, okay? <laughs> <laughs> but, the, yeah, like, it, I hope it changes. And, like, the news of Melbourne Rebels going into administration oh, this wow, week yeah. is another yeah. big blow. So, hopefully, we can, like, this is, that's... The lowest we can go at the moment, and, and only, only up. Only is up. Hundred percent. So I'm really hoping. No, I mean, one can be hopeful, I guess. No, we as well because yeah. I think um, the, the southern hemisphere, um, world rugby, everyone needs Australian rugby to be good and strong. Yeah. Mm. Because Australia plays a certain brand of rugby that, mm. that, yeah. that is attractive. Mm. It's a mm. multifaceted rugby. It's multi phases. It's ball in hand. Yuch. We can never let that go. Yeah. Do you miss Look at this guy? I, uh? Huh? This guy is like an analyst, multifaceted. You yeah. like that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when, he's got a lot. He's got a lot. He's got a lot. I just used to kick it away. Yeah. But I, I actually <laughs> like playing rugby. <laughs> <laughs> you actually staying in Brisbane in Australia right now? Yeah. yeah. The feel of South African rugby. Do 
the Australians, the New Zealanders, if you kind of heard a couple of things in the Fijians, miss us in the Super Rugby? I think so, definitely. Mm. Like, um, to help grow the rugby as well. Yeah, mm. I think like um, to have the speed of the like the Kiwi sides and like with Australia, and then to have the physicality of South Africans. Mm. You know, when you go into a, a, like the test time, you know, test time, you your your body hardened. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. like yeah, you know, you, you can wake understand. up on Sunday morning after a game against New Zealand teams or Australian teams, and you know. Walked on to breakfast, all good, do recovery. Mm. You wake up on Sunday morning again after playing any other South African teams. Mm. You're, al- you're almost limping to breakfast. Yeah. You know, like, yo, mm, yeah. yo. <laughs> yo. <laughs> I don't yeah, know. And like, but I think that that's what we're missing now. Like, mm. it's, we're just having, I think the Fijian side that's coming to Super Rugby now um, it has added something just a little bit different, you know? Yeah. Uh, doesn't make things boring just between the two Anzac, mm. the Anzac teams. But you can see the European teams benefiting from South Africa. Now. That's yeah. what I think, you know. Mm. Yes, but Henry, I wish we, we had more time mm. to no, catch up and, and, sure. and, and everything. Yeah. Um, it was all years now. We, huh? we could still reminisce about <laughs> yeah. playing against each other and everything. But honestly, yeah. it is nice to catch mm. up with you. It's nice to have you on our show. Um, yeah. Thank you for making the time to, on being on our show. I know you're struggling with jet lag. <laughs> Placer, mm. placer, placer, boy. Yeah, thanks for being on the show. Um, you know, we haven't seen each other for a very long time, and thanks for all yeah. the years, you know, after games, catching up with you. Yeah. And especially uh, last weekend, we played, hey, you <laughs> know, uh, you made me famous there at the tent. <laughs> Appreciate that. Um, thanks. I hope you enjoyed Cape Town for, for your time that you've been here, and thanks yeah. for making time with us. And share no. this name. Like yeah. a gossip story. And Wherever you uh, go, share course. this name like yeah, a gossip course, story. Man. It was never a dream, mm? but. He, he mentioned, he put it into existence. Yeah. Behind the rock is going to Fiji. Hey, yes, okay. uh, yes. Yeah. Suva, baby. Claim it. Claim it. Claim it. Claim it. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Mm. You know, by Danki. Um, uh, for And South Africa for always. Personally, I can only say, I, I'm, every time I come, yeah, I'm welcome with open arms. And I, I, I don't know, but uh, the connections I've made with the South African players yeah. in the past has always been maintained. Uh, today is a prime example and, mm. and to be here live in Cape Town mm. yeah I Fantastic. can't it's could, could, you couldn't have written it or ah, love could to be hear, worse love to hear love to hear behind the rock <laughs> yes <Binaka>. it's so banaka <laughs> <laughs> and that's Henry Spade <laughs> Poiki but, uh, yo, I'm not Spade hmm? <laughs> unbelievable Henry Spade eh? what a story yes I'm yo, I, I was locked in especially for that whole <sighs> Just to see what he went through, um, it's good to, for him to speak about his teammates like that as well. The realization uh, part of mm. me is you always think that your story um, is, mm. is, is so hectic until you hear someone else's story. Yeah. And you're like, oh, man, he had to pick up a piece of paper, partner, Just, yes. fill it in. It wasn't meant for him. Uh, he filled it in and an the end is history. Mm. Yo, Crazy, man. Awesome. It's awesome to see. But what a good man, man. Especially, you know, making time to come to Cape Town, being part of... There's obviously love Cape Town and love South Africa for, for what 23, happened. 23, 23 times he's been to South Africa. Yeah, I died yeah. quite. I mean, so is, is, is that he leave the... Is say passport is full. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, awesome to, to chat to him, to check in with him. There's our first guest from Australia and pretty much from, from Fiji as well. But just to get those yes. the, 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 you know, stories, you know, the people want to know where Suva, you know, um, talk about Kava, Lovo, all those type of things. You know? But about the culture part and mm. the way they do things, why they are so loved all around the world, their sense of community. Yeah, uh, sure. I think a lot of what they do and how they love is kind of when, when he spoke, I thought mm. of Ubuntu. Ubuntu, yeah. When, you know, uh. you know, there's a lot of Ubuntu in the way they do things. Yeah, it's not about, it's about us, it's about us. people. You need Looking people. after each other. Fantastic. Yeah, it's awesome. And respect, thank you very much for making the time. And we'll see you. Soon? Yes. In Suva, right? In, in Are Suva. we going? Are we going Suva? I don't know. Yeah, we Suva got so baby. many people Fuck. we gotta hey. go to. Hey. hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. We can make time. It's not we about will. having time, it's about making, making time. time. Okay, crucial, crucial. Crucial. So thank you, Andrea. Yeah, partner. And then we're gonna get straight into a couple of things. Same. Eh? We gotta check the results. Ooh. Okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. Six nations. No? Like a six nations. Yes, yes, yes. Great and, start. And the Great start well. to the six nations. Okay, let's just quickly go through the results for this weekend. Obviously, the first game Friday night at 10 o'clock. Oh, what a crack of a game that was. So that was France, 17 Island, 38. Ooh. Ooh, we got a uh, 
So my week is more than lost. Magda. <laughs> and then uh, Saturday was two games. It was Italy 24, England 27. And then also straight after that, it was Wales 26, Scotland 27. Also a tight one. Partner, let's go Friday night. Okay. Friday let's night. do it. Let's do Friday it. Friday night and the feeling is right. What a game. What a game. What a game. Uh, what an atmosphere. We expected a little bit more. We expected a tight game. But um, yeah, for my feel... Not good to say, our South African friend, you know, Paul Willemse. Willemse. Yeah, two yellow cards, you know, two eye shots in the first couple, of first half. So for like 70 minutes, France was with uh, 14 men. Hey, what are you? Yeah, 70 minutes, 14 men. First of all, I want to congratulate you. Mm. You called it spot on. Mm. You, yes, yes, yes. From yes. the beginning, you said um, they won't, they're not going to miss Johnny Sexton. Mm. Their, 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 their thing is in order, the way they play. Yes, it's a plug order. and play situation. So, they're taking. Ooh. That's why you were coach and I'm going to become a ref. Okay? <laughs> so, I'm going to let that no, no, no. But, um, France, oh, they didn't get out of the blocks, but, eh? No, not at Slow all. Slow start. Then it was the yellow card of mm. Paul. Um, Paul came back onto the field. Then he got the red card. Just and they just couldn't, they get couldn't going. get going the, in the first uh, half. Mm. And you think, is, is it because of the pointless? Or is it just guys not fighting? Or Because he's a massive, he's like the, for me, he's the missing piece. Okay, because he brings the forwards in the game, he brings the backs into the game. And he makes a massive difference. And he played for Toulouse actually as well this weekend. And yeah. incredible he was. So if, personally for me, yeah. I think they're going to miss him so, so much. They will miss him. I'm mm. not. I'm not going to go against yeah, that. Right. But I think it's it's quite unfair on 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 Maxim Luca. Um, oh, yeah. You understand? Mm. You, he's not a bad player because of a, a poor first half. Mm. Um, he hasn't started a lot for France, so that's gonna. We need to use that into consideration. He will get better mm. as a scrum half. You need to be in the saddle. Unfortunately mm. yeah. for nine, you need to under play the belt. Minutes, under the belt. Minutes under the belt. But the guy who came off the bench is mm. more important mm -hmm. for me. Nolan Lagarek. Oh, Lagarek. As soon as he came on, the French team looked different. Uh, there was a flowing. spark. There was there was flow. The breakdown was quicker. Yeah, they were all about quick ball, quick ball. Quick uh, ball. Keep the ball alive, quick ball. And okay. then the bigger, the, the they got obviously more physical players, they ran onto the ball. Yes, get in behind them. hard lines, get in behind mm, them. Because Ireland, yeah, defensively Ireland is struggling a little bit because Ireland is all about attack. The way they're moving the ball around, so they put a lot of energy into their attack and their, their attack is incredible, Paige. There's one thing you should look yeah. at. How Ireland attack, how they square people up, how they find seams. You know, you can see the tries they scored. Explain to the Rockers quickly seams, what is seams and where, seams why is, you talk about seams. finding about g uh, gaps in between players, okay. you know, make people attract you, come inside and you just leave short balls to get into that, that seams. Get in behind them. Once you're in behind them, the fence can't set. But it's, the, the way the 10, um, he did a fantastic Crowley job. Crowley was excellent. Crowley was fantastic. A bit and different, he played a bit uh, different yes, to, to Johnny Sexton, mm. but he played awesome. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Yeah. It was a bit more, I, th I felt like it was a bit more of a threat to the line. To the line as well. Then Johnny Sexton mm. used to obviously like the, the old school options 12 anyway. Yeah, he yeah. goes for the run around. Back, yeah. But this time around, they played very similar still, like you say, still mm. the, the triangles. But he was a bit more of a threat because he's, he's, he's quite a big he's boy. A, he's a big boy, yeah. Uh, he was he's a bit solid. more of a threat to the defensive line and that's the only thing I picked mm. up and actually look, from him. He looked confident as well. He's like, he act like he's been there for years and that's what you, not, you want from your 10, especially you now moving the forwards around. Because if, if, if you're a big boy forwards that's got 50, 60, 70 caps, you don't want a 10 to be like... Uh, but boys, wait, wait to now. He wants someone to take control, and he did that. No. And he's got senior players like Gibson in front of him. He's got James Lone, all the boys at the back of him. They look in incredible form. So yeah. I, I think they are a team to beat. And there's only one thing, team I think that, that st stands a chance to beat them, and it's, it's the men's miss Kirkies. <laughs> huh? But we'll cover that later. <laughs> we're gonna on, get yeah. this. Yeah, so okay. Get there, yeah. And then also the other game scene. Um, um, Italy, England. Obviously, I asked last week. All we want from Italy is to be competitive. Mm -hmm. They they they, they ran they England. Were? They ran England Ooh. really close. Um, they probably felt this week it's one that got away. It's mm. one that 100%. they should have taken advantage of. Um, they. Got the England team who wasn't excellent. It excellent. wasn't good on the eye. They're still finding who. Oh, the yeah. They're they still leaders. finding Nemo. What, what do we do? What are we? Who are we? Yeah. But um, it, it's slowly but surely uh, trying to find the pieces because they need to find it as soon as possible because they've got a, a massive tournament coming up and a good couple of games, games coming up. But there's combinations that still needs to they, they still need to fix. I don't know if Jamie George is it's obviously leaders, leadership is very important. Yes. So hopefully the leaders around him will, will support him in, in that role. But yeah, you can't have a slow start, especially not against Italy. When, when they smell a little bit, they're going to be on top of you. 
And I, the, the one thing with Italy is, I just want him to turn the knife a little bit because a lot of the times they're in the game, in the game, first 20, first 30, but it's an 80-minute game. But as you've, you've mentioned to me this off-air that mm. obviously winning is there, but mm. it will take a while for the Italians to, yeah. to, 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 to get into a winning culture and habit. Yeah. But as, for me, it's, they were competitive. And that's all that's important. You don't want an easy game, especially no. not in Six Nations, especially not in, in the rugby championship. So hopefully they can fire yes, as well. Yes, yeah. definitely. So yeah, we'll see what England's going to do the next game. And then, ooh, there was a cracker the last one. Wales versus Scotland, eh? And that yeah. team that I think uh, has a very good chance at Scottish. They were looking good. And Scotland is like, money with Stormers? For the rest with, with Scotland. Yeah. Yeah. He, he just got the extra gears. He put yes, guys they into were, space. They were the brilliant for 40 minutes, eh? Yeah. Yo. Simply, simply outstanding. 40, 45, um, 27, 0. Right? Uh, when I watched that first half part, man, obviously a lot of people on X has had something to say about mm, the X. fact that he made a, a comment that he's like the Messi. I think it was a light-hearted comment. Oh, on Netflix? But on Netflix, oh, yeah. Oh, yes, yes. I've so, heard, um, I've heard, I've heard. I mm. think, but he showed Messi like characteristic traits uh, yes. Um, yes. in that game he's okay. got a lovely pass between him and Mani I don't know mm. who's got the who's the best who's pass the, over mm, the ball right mm, now agree. Um, mm. they were brilliant for 40 minutes and then something happened Ooh. partner I don't half know. time I don't know if the the crowd of the Wales crowd in the municipality crowd huh? stadium they got a couple of beers and they got uh, you something know, the, the happened chest was about something and happened at halftime and steam then steam roll yes it's Moltra Moltra in behind Ugh. But they played with tempo partner. Yep. They played off the cuff. They played um, a lot more. I know in the first half they kicked a lot of balls of nine yep. of Davis. He wasn't accurate. Mm, he mm, kicked the ball mm, mm, down accurate. the 15th stroke and he gave the ball away. Mm. In the second half they hold onto the ball. Mm. They kept the ball. They built phases. Yes. They built um, attacking pressure on the Scottish mm. defence and there was cracks. Yo, and then they got a yellow card. Scotland was behind. You know, backs against the wall. And, and that crowd got going. Ooh, Ooh that crowd got going. Uh, there. It's back to back tries and it was yo. So unlucky for them, they had an opportunity to grab that one. And yeah, they obviously, they're struggling a little bit with a lot of off-the-field stuff when it comes to the boardroom. And also losing a massive, massive player like um, Rhys Emmett. And they go to yes, they've lost Dan Bigger, Rhys Zemmett, mm. Ellen Wayne Jones, um, Justin Tuperik. They've lost so many brilliant players. Rhys Webb, the scrum off. Yeah, yeah. Um, to put up a show, I think they will be happy. Mm -hmm. I think. I agree, um, I agree, I agree. Uh, I think we need to give a uh, Gatlin mm -hmm. a lot of um, compliments. Credits, yeah. He's mm -hmm. a great coach. Mm -hmm. yeah, Never to be doubted. Yeah. He's a great coach. See, and that it. was a brilliant advert for rugby. Mm. Great game for rugby. Great game for rugby, yeah. I would have loved to be in that stadium. That's yeah, my last yeah, comment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh? The Welsh people know how well, to it, enjoy some ragas. <laughs> but it was, uh, it was awesome, yeah. Let's just quickly go to the fixtures for this, uh, for this weekend. Uh, yes. A couple of good ones coming up. And that first one, actually, Scotland versus France. Okay. Uh, in Scotland. On, that's on Saturday. Quarter past four. Oh, that's going to be a lovely one. That's going to be a crack of a game, yeah. And then also straight after that, also on Saturday will be England against Wales. Yes. Okay, at Twickenham. And then Sunday, Sunday, five o'clock, obviously, Ireland versus Italy, Ireland at home. Okay. okay. So, uh, don't, if, don't, okay, don't. yes, let's, let's competitive. Yes. We said competitive, okay. stay competitive. Okay. It's important to stay you competitive. You can see they still have your Okay, Mnir? <laughs> Just quickly through the game, say, Scotland um, versus France. If Scotland wins, France out of. Yeah, Scotland I. Scotland needs to win. I think Scotland is not going to get a better opportunity. Um, of getting one over France without the point, first of all. Yep, I know yep. you've been um, very confident that the point is the point of difference in the team. Mm -hmm. um, France will have a lot of, not questions, but um, they will hurt. Obviously, it was a quite an embarrassing result at home yep. with obviously mm -hmm. the expectation on the French team. Scotties looked really good for 40 you, minutes. Brilliant. Really they, look they look brilliant. brilliant. Yeah, they look brilliant Phenomenal. for 40 minutes. Phenomenal. Huh? Huh? Hey, out of this yeah. world. Oof. Yes, yeah. yeah. Must say, must say. So, um, I'm going to go with Scotland at home, partner. Mm. Um, Scotland at home. I think that second half would have scared them enough to know that they can't be complacent, um, that they have to be at their best all the time. Just from a numbers point of view, they, they don't have the, the quality of depth in their squad. Mm -hmm. So the starting 23 is going to last for this whole campaign. But I think they got a brilliant chance. They play attractive rugby. Yeah, it's good okay. on the eye. Um, it's a team that you can fall in love with easily. So I'm going to go with Scotland yep. for this game. I'm on the same page. I'm on the same Rudy page. I must say, if you look at it, if you, move, if you, if you lose guys like, you know, Anton Dupont, Intermac, it's always going to be a tough day. 
Yes. Guys that, you know, holding the steering wheel, all the forwards and all the boys can just move, you know. But it's, you need someone that's in control of making sure there's direction in the team. But um, at the moment, I, I fully agree with you. Scotland at home against France, smelling that there's opportunity. They, for me, if they want to win the Six Nations, they have to win this game and they have to win Ireland. And, yes. and, and that's the only way they can go forward, yeah. And the next game, England-Wales. I'm not sure about England. What Oof. state are England in? They, they without, I don't know if Marcus Smith is going to be ready for this weekend. Probably hopefully, not. Hopefully he is or not. Um, I must say, partner, just about this game. I was, about five years ago, I was in Cardiff um, mm. with, in the Pro 14 and England played Wales. And it was one of the best rugby atmospheres that I've had yeah. to experience. It was from the morning, 8 o'clock, people were dressed in red and in white and they supported the team. So this is going to be a massive game. It's, gonna, it's basically a derby for them. Mm. Um, they they obviously next to each other. They're mm. in the UK. Um, yes. It's a tough one. It's, it's, it's a it's tough one to call because obviously Wales is so young and so inexperienced. Mm. And England has got so many changes since since Eddie has left, in right? crucial positions. In crucial positions. Farrell leadership. Is gone. Mm. Farrell is gone. New coach. Mm. Um, they they don't have Manu yet, um, so there's a lot of uh, mm. you want to give it because to England because they've always been the powerhouse. Yes, at in, home, it, you know. So that's why that's the only reason why I'm going with with England and the fact that the Welsh team is just so inexperienced yeah. and they still, still they, it's going to well. take time for them to to become the Gatland team that that obviously that they, we've been accustomed to in the yeah. past. For for some reason, I'm gonna back the Wales in this one. Just just because what happened last uh, last week, you know, uh-huh. playing that game against Scotland, you know, at home, building up that last twenty, they got a lot of momentum going okay. into this game. And I'm not too sure where England is at the moment in terms of they still trying to find themselves. They didn't play some good rugby at all. Um, you know, they've got good quality players. Stewart, Freddie Stewart, that's maybe good in the air, but he's lacking, you know, attacking, attacking ability. And those a threat. Like, he's not a threat. A threat at all. Yes. They, they're still finding themselves. Who's going to be the 12 center? They've got the new wing on, on, on the right-hand side. They've got the new 12. Crucial positions, guys, that need to finish. Like Johnny May in the old days. Yes. You know, all those type of things. So I'm just going to give credit to Wales. Hopefully they will take the momentum from last week and this is rolling into Twickenham and hopefully okay. upset um, England. Oof, I, I can't. I'm going to go with England, but yeah. that, that's a very tough one to call, yeah, party. Yeah, a very tough one to call. Sunday's yeah. one is easy. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> sorry, sorry, Iti. Italy, uh, Italy, sorry. Is it, is it, huh? Are we not going to have some spaghetti or pasta? What? No, I think huh? I think the, the Irish team will be way too strong. Yeah, um, agree, agree. Just the, they keep the ball away from the opponents, man. And that fatigues mm. the defences so much. And especially the Italian side, without the ball, they're not going to have energy. Yeah. You understand? Mm. And without energy, it's difficult to fight against a world-class outfit like that. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to go with Ireland, unfortunately. I, I'm in the same. Just realistically. Same for me as well. And it's, and it's not going to look pretty. Um, I'm looking at plus 20, 30 points for, for Ireland. Really? Yeah, they're going to they're gonna blast them off the park. If all the big boys are playing. You yes. Know? If you have your James Lowe, if you have your Gibson Park. If with Bix. If you have your Whitby in yeah. the midfield, if those boys are all gonna play, you know, one of both momentum when they play against Scotland, you know, all the other boys, it's gonna be a tough one. It's gonna be a plus that. Only boys. problem for me with, for Italy is the game is still so early in the competition, so you you won't want to rest people Mm-mm. because you want to get momentum, like you just mentioned, mm. and. It's not tough. It's going to be tough. It's going to be 20 points easy. I mean, it, Italy is a good team. Don't get me wrong. They've got some good quality pl- uh, players. Um, Ioni and the boys are fantastic. But I'm just... The way Ireland is playing at the moment, the way they're connecting at the moment, forwards and backs... Their the tech is strength setting at the moment. Honestly, mm, their tech is something to be old. Um, people just doesn't have answers for it. Defensively, unless it's the Boca, mm. but the Boca is not <laughs> yes, in yes, Six yes, Nations, yes, okay? Yes. Um, yeah, I don't know who's the Boca. Yeah. Oh, let's not okay. get there, okay? But still, we're going to get there in July. July. Yeah. Hold your horses, yeah, sir. Yeah, July. Oh, okay. Russia, come on. I'm warming up. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so that, is that all the fixtures That's for the weekend? That's all the fixtures for the weekend. There's no yeah, UFC exactly. games. There's no URC. There's no sevens. There's no sevens. Curry Cup? Nothing. Naxi? Nothing. Not okay. even the Reigns are over from Vestic Champions Cup. Nothing. Okay. So we just have six nations. Yep. And the Ruckers, you guys always have behind the Ruck. Mm. Okay. Mm. Yes. Whenever yes. you get bored, you got behind the Ruck. Yes. They must clear the Ruck. Hey. Clear the Ruck. Clear the Ruck. Hey. Clear the rock. Yeah. To everyone in Fiji, mm. hello. Hey, Bulabanaka. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but incredible episode, eh? Oof, 3-0, huh? 30. And we must say thank you to the lovely people, eh? Hey, man. Yeah, yeah. shout out to our sponsors, Lulabet. Go check them out, Lulabet. 
www.co.za, incredible, um, you know, making sure that everything is smooth. We don't yeah. have to think about things off the field. We can still focus on the field and also Rooibos Men's Skin Care, right? Yeah. Looking after us. And, and then, then today's episode ooh, sponsor? Yeah, episode sponsor, Prime. Ooh, they keep me in Prime, that's why I play tents. Okay. Right? And fantastic to see them, how they incorporated a lot of things when it comes to the tents as well. I mean, they... They, they've got so much branches in and around South Africa. They're all around. You know, they've obviously got their headquarters, which is in um, Montague Gardens. Um, okay. But they, they, they're in Bloemfontein. They're in, in um, the Sharks, uh, Gauteng. Okay. Yes, in George as well. So they're all around the park. And it's just good to see, especially I met a couple of the, you know, the top staff, um, you know, uh, Douglas and Trevor and them as well. Just to see... Good the people. Good people, man. Very That's good the most people. important. That's why I got involved as well. Because I got involved actually with... One of my housemates for a couple of years that was part of them for the past three years. And they, he always said, you want to come, come watch the tents. And that's so, so next year, are you going to play for the Prime Pumas again? Mm-hmm. Are you going to play for the Prime Pumas yes, again next year? if they okay. want me. If, if the form, you know, if the form was I don't good know, enough. Yeah, I don't yeah. know how the tents guys, you still allow him to mm-hmm. beat them off your left foot. <laughs> I don't know. He's played yeah. for 16 years. You yeah. guys could have figured it out, but okay. So credit to them, you know, go check out the website at pramcs.co.za. And fantastic, yeah. Fantastic yeah, and the Rutgers, they were obviously the, the proud sponsors of today's episode, mm. okay? So we got to support them because they support us, yeah. all right? And the tents, yeah. But the people at the tents, they're looking for you. Why? Yeah, if they see me, they, they look, oh, where's Rudy? Why is Rudy not here? Why is he not playing? You must let me know because Prime, we, we might need the nine, okay? But all I tell the people is, hey, Maniscus, I don't want to give these excuses, <laughs> eh? Come, be, be honest with the people, man. Uh, ma- so maybe we'll see you next year. Next year? I, but I'll be referring you, huh? okay? I'll be no, in the, no, no, no. Yes, no. yes, I, yes. I want that snipe, you know? No. Huh? No, is, no, that, no. is that going to happen? No, that will be a lower back yeah. and a hamstring <laughs> and a calf so all at the same time. Credit to the people, especially the guys that came out to me and just say thank you and well done and everything when it comes to behind the rack, you know, giving us love, sharing it, liking and sharing, subscribing. Everywhere I go, the, if, if I walk past people, it's, hey, this is behind the rack. I'm they like, love it, they love it, this is behind the rack. I yelled it, hey, this is behind the rack. Much love. Much and Rakas, now mm. we, we must still share, okay? We mustn't get comfortable. Don't stop Never there. get comfortable. Uh-huh. Share it. There's still people who's not subscribed, mm. okay? Check them out. Find them. Find them, Rakas. Okay. Find them. Huh? Incredible yeah. show, yeah. Hey, guys. Buddy, are we gonna are we gonna mention who's next week on the episode? Yeah. Are we gonna keep them in a the loop? Mm-mm. Okay, sit down. I apologize, huh? but it's gonna be big. <laughs> it's gonna be big. It's gonna be big. Hey, you guys don't wanna miss it. He's sitting and on the guys, table with Denzel Washington. You guys Tom never Cruz wanna miss behind the rack. Okay, as I let you photo. Hey, yes, guys. I'm Rudy Page. I'm Joanne Dion. and the, the rack, rack is clear. clear.